Question 1. A man with a history of intermittent claudication, leg pain after walking about 100 meters, relieved by rest, is examined. He is found to have an absent left femoral pulse, an absent dorsalis pedis pulse, and his ankle brachial index, ABI, is 0 0.25. What is the most appropriate initial investigation? A. Arteriography. B. CT angiography. C. Compression Doppler ultrasound. D. Magnetic resonance angiogram. E. X-ray. Correct answer. Option C. Compression Doppler ultrasound. A explanation. An ABI of 0.25 is markedly low and indicates severe peripheral arterial disease. The first line investigation is a compression Doppler ultrasound because it is non-invasive, readily available, and effective in assessing blood flow and locating arterial lesions. This approach is in line with Australian guidelines for the management of peripheral arterial disease. Australian RAG guidelines, peripheral arterial disease. Question 2. A young girl presents with sudden loss of vision in one eye and pain behind the eye. What is the investigation of choice for suspected multiple sclerosis? A. CT scan B. Lumbar puncture C. Visual evoked potential D. MRIE. Optical coherence tomography. Correct answer. Option D. MRI. Explanation. Magnetic Resonance Imaging MRI, is the investigation of choice in suspected multiple sclerosis because it is highly sensitive for detecting demyelinating lesions in the brain and optic nerve. This is particularly useful in cases of optic neuritis, which may be the presenting feature in MS. MS Society Australia Diagnosis Question 3 a young boy is brought to a rural hospital emergency department following a motor vehicle accident. He is unconscious, GCS 615, and has been intubated. With the neurosurgery unit three hours away, what is the first step in diagnosing his head injury? A. Immediate transfer to the neurosurgery unit B. CT scan of the head C. Perform burr hole decompression D. Craniotomy E. Administration of Manitol. Correct answer. Option B. CT scan of the head. Explanation. In cases of severe head trauma with a depressed GCS, rapid diagnosis is critical. A CT scan of the head is the first line diagnostic tool because it quickly identifies intracranial hemorrhage and other critical injuries. This approach is recommended by Australian Guidelines for Managing Head Injuries. Australian Head Injury Guidelines, health.gov.au Question 4. A patient presents with an eye that shows mild yellowish crusting on the eyelashes with associated itchiness but no significant redness. What is the most appropriate initial management? A. Chloramphenicol eye drops. B. Steroid eye drops. C. Eyelash cleaning. D. Topical lubricants. E. Oral antibiotics. Correct answer. Option C. Eyelash cleaning. Explanation. This presentation is consistent with mild blepharitis. The first line management is proper eyelid hygiene, regular cleaning of the eyelashes to remove crusting. This is the recommended initial step per Australian guidelines for managing blepharitis before considering additional treatments such as antibiotics or steroids. RAGP Clinical Guidelines Ocular Conditions Question 5. A patient with a family history of prostate cancer undergoes a digital rectal exam, DRE, which is normal. What is the recommended management? A. Serum PSA test. B. Repeat DRE annually. C. Advise the patient to seek evaluation only if symptomatic. D. 
prostate biopsy, E. Routine screening with both DRE and PSA. Correct answer, option C. Advise the patient to seek evaluation only if symptomatic. Explanation. Current Australian guidelines do not recommend routine prostate cancer screening in asymptomatic men, even with a family history, if the DRE is normal. The preferred management is to advise the patient to return if any symptoms develop rather than initiating further investigations. Cancer Australia, Prostate Cancer, 2022-1.